Hey there, welcome to another radio related video and this is a first in a uh, little series on um, digital modes not just amateur radio digital modes but uh, digital modes in general on the uh, shortwave bands and uh, what you can hear I'll go uh, slowly make videos about the different modes available and how to listen to them uh, two pieces of software that I've talked about already uh, one is uh, MixW M -I -X -W, which is a uh, multi-mode decoder for PC uh, what's cool about it is the fact that it actually works on uh, with your uh, sound card in your computer and so all you have to do is hook up your radio to your computer with a little uh, audio cable the other piece of software that I enjoy a lot that is totally free is uh, FLDG FL if I could say it's um, FLDG like in digital uh, Foxtrot Lima uh, the first two letters and um, that's another nice piece of software for decoding and so today we are talking about one of the very popular modes it's radio teletype this is what radio teletype sounds like uh, when you have a little signal here multiple signals here These are all digital signals that you can hear. These are really what is called radio teletype. And to give you an idea with FLDG, here is what it looks like. I'm decoding uh, right here. Station is a VE7VQ. So, um, and you see here at the bottom, you have to match what is called a waterfall so probably a contest tonight lots of uh, signals from uh, JN50 and uh, VE7 VQ you can see here so many stations on here so remember this sound this is what is called RTTY 45 that's a very amateur mode I mean radio teletype has different settings uh, there's the uh, baud rate and there's also what is called the shift um, the popular shifts are 170 425 and 850 Hertz basically that is the spacing between the two tones on the amateur radio signal on the uh, sorry radio teletype signal amateur radio is always in 170 Hertz shift so that's the first thing the easiest radio teletype signals you can decode are amateur radio uh, because they are not encrypted and you know that you can hear what they are saying so I would probably say to practice on amateur radio signals first and when you get the hang of it and start decoding uh, that's when uh, you're probably gonna move on to the uh, I would say commercial or um, other types of radio teletype that are in 425 and 850 shift. And uh, how do you know when there was the shift? Well, all the software, as you see, has a little waterfall. I'll put the camera here like this. When you look at the waterfall, you have these two little red lines, uh, sometimes more because here there's a lot of signals together. But you can see that they come in pairs. Each signal has two. What you need to do is slide, put that little slider right, matching the two red lines in your software. And when you put that slider that matches the two red lines, that is when you will decode a signal. So you got to practice first. Uh, with amateur radio signals, it's the best. And you know the difference between a 170, uh, 425, and 850. 
by the um, the two little red lines the 170 is the lines are the closest 425 lines are more spaced and 850 the lines are really spaced out so that's basically how to know and if you're not sure just choose the modes and look at the little two little lines in the waterfall how large they are and if they match the two lines of the incoming signal that's all you'll know what shift to, to uh, use but after you've selected the good shift you gotta select the good speed that is something that comes with time uh, to the ears you know when signals are slower or faster basically amateur radio signals are always at 45 baud what's nice in FLDG is that when you choose the operating mode okay let's go here choose the operating mode when you're in RTTY it just says 45, 50, 75 N and 75 W which is a nice way of just you know putting it easy nice and easy and what it, it means is that RTTY 45 and 50 are 170 Hertz narrow and um, or 425 depending and RTTY 75 N means it's narrow what which is 425 and W is for wide which means it's 850 shifts so you don't have to play with numbers but you do have a custom because even though most of the RTTY signals come in with very specific settings and that probably 95% of all the RTTY signals on shortwave are in that four on those four choices there there are exceptions to the rule and there are radio teletype signals that just don't follow more than that there's lots of very complex modes in uh, radio teletype one thing you gotta be careful is that if your receiver is not equipped with an FSK button which is made for the uh, signals digital signals then you got to be careful what mode you are upper lower sideband or CW because you might need to choose inverted in the program because sometimes the tones are inverted if you're not in a good mode so be careful with that what's nice with FLDG is that it tell it asks you what mode you are using to the code so on the upper left in FLDG here once again which is, uh, it does say USB so you can mash USB here, put your radio in USB mode, and you know that you're in the good type of signal. Sorry if I make noise and it does move a lot. Um, so basically, that's what you'll want, is match these two together. So listen to this and uh, Remember, you are in a radio teletype here, so this is one of the modes. Uh, I'll have videos for other modes and how to decode them also. So, hope you enjoyed these videos. Hope it was clear enough. Uh, these are really difficult to explain, especially to newbies. But, uh, true, I do my best to uh, explain. If there's something you didn't understand or you want to know more about, uh, you can of course uh, leave a comment or ask a question and uh, hope you enjoyed these videos 73